What's going on, everyone? It's Adrian from Draft Time. It's Monday night, and we have the Titans at the Bills, and this is my DFS breakdown. So first off, a little bit of injury news. We got Gabe Davis and Kyle Phillips. They're both questionable. They both should play. If Kyle Phillips does end up missing, I think that does give a lot more value to Robert Woods and also to Traylon Burks. Um, now, as far as potential MVP targets for the single-game slate, I mean, Josh Allen, I mean, the gap between him and the next best person, Ryan Tannehill, 25.8 fantasy points, 15 fantasy points projected for Ryan Tannehill. Uh, I can't really see much more scenarios where Josh Allen is not the MVP, but if you are going to try to target um, another MVP, I'd look at Derrick Henry and potentially Stefan Diggs. Stefan Diggs did have one game last season where he was the MVP over Josh Allen. So if he does end up getting two touchdowns, uh, maybe 10 catches, 150 plus yards, he could outscore Josh Allen. But overall, Josh Allen, he's the MVP target. Um, I wouldn't waste too many other lineups with other MVPs. But if you are going to do it, Derrick Henry, Stefan Diggs, those are the only other guys that I see um, having the potential to be MVPs. Ryan Tannehill, he's another guy that you you may want to consider. But going back to last week, Matt Stafford really didn't do much against um, against that Buffalo Bills defense. Now, as far as sleeper targets, I take a look at Zach Moss. In the last game, he actually had six targets, um, and he only had two less carries than Devin Singletary. I think Devin Singletary had eight carries. And um, if you take a look here, Zach Moss had six carries. So sitting there at $7,000, he's a good sleeper pick. We project him to be 22.82% owned on FanDuel, which for a single game slate, that's relatively low. Also, another another person you want to look at is the guy I talked about earlier, Kyle Phillips. He's only 7,500. He had nine targets last game. Uh, Tannehill was looking at him a lot. Six catches, 66 yards. Um, should be pretty low owned. He's $7,500. We projected him to be 5.75% owned. Um, and he's questionable right now. So, you know, a lot of guys that put their early lineups in probably won't put him in. Uh, so he's another guy uh, with good sleeper potential. Now, let's go ahead and run the top lineup for FanDuel and see what pops out. So you got Josh Allen, Austin Hooper, Ryan Tannehill, Zach Moss, and Derrick Henry. So none of the Buffalo receivers, uh, but you do have Josh Allen there, the MVP. Now, that actually could work out. If Josh Allen ends up getting one, one or two rushing touchdowns, um, then you could see a scenario where Josh Allen's the MVP and you don't have any of his receivers. But if you look at the second lineup here, you, you will see that it does pick up Stephon Diggs, swaps out Derrick Henry for Stephon Diggs. Now, I do want to talk about Austin Hooper a little bit. Uh, he only had two targets last game, one catch for six yards. Uh, he should have a better game this game. If you go back to last week, Tyler Higbee, um, the tight end for the Rams, actually had five catches against uh, this Buffalo defense. Um, so Austin Hooper at that tight end position, I do expect him to have a better game than his week one game. Now, before I get into the DraftKings lineup, let me go ahead and let's go ahead and run the, the lineup with locking in uh, Derrick Henry at the MVP spot. And you, you're going to see that that first lineup is basically the same lineup, as, except you're just swapping out Josh Allen for Derrick Henry at the MVP spot. Um, the same thing is going to be for Stefan Diggs if you lock him into the MVP spot. Pretty much going to have the same lineup as this uh, lineup number two here. So... Um, those are the lines for FanDuel. Let's go ahead and get into it for DraftKings. Let's change that to the Tennessee at Buffalo. And for DraftKings, you got Josh Allen at the captain spot. No surprise there. Devin Singletary, Robert Woods, Zach Moss, Bill's defense um, definitely has some potential there. And then Gabe Davis, um, if he does play, which is looking like he's going to play. Now let's go ahead and run one with Diggs at the MVP spot, um, which or actually the captain spot. Now, Stefan Diggs does have better uh, captain potential for DraftKings than he does for FanDuel. Um, one point per reception obviously gives him a lot more value for DraftKings, uh, and there is a lot more scenarios where he outscores Josh Allen. So I would uh, strongly consider Stefan Diggs for a couple of lineups with him at the captain spot on DraftKings. Now, what you're looking at is our DFS optimizer for FanDuel and DraftKings, which you can access on our website, draftdime.com. And you can sign up for a free seven-day trial. Um, cancel anytime before the seven days are done if you're not satisfied. So let me know what you guys think, and good luck to everyone.